the Lodge of War. In that Lodge of War, blood was spilled for nothing else than a contest of power. It's a mystery we cannot grasp anymore, something primal coming out of the deep and bloody past of humanity, something that we've left behind now completely. Let's rather have a coffee with some oil, extra crude for me. Something, though, has happened at the fossilized remains. We found the lodge. The excavation of the ancient structure found near the valley's entrance is proceeding according to plan. Many artifacts have been discovered, most of which seem to be variations of hunting weapons and trophies. A partially translated sign, which appears to denote the name of the structure, reads Valley of Machavail Hunting Lodge Primus. Curious! What further things we will we find out? Oh, also, you should note that we've started the second archaeology in the making. <clears throat> of course, we'll lose these special things here, but maybe being an archaeology can make up for that. I'm not sure. An archaeology. An arco mm. At the expense of the planet's natural resources becoming and inaccessible but i think these things will will stay there yeah now now i i wasted a year but sometimes you have to waste a year just to be sure just to be sure right so there's that our mining planet is also getting traction and there's still the question if we should we should translate this into a in into a planet without food, but because we might need food in the future. We're not sure about not needing food anymore, so... Hmm, 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 hmm. We don't know. I mean, we've got the fortress world here, and that's coming along really nicely. I think we should just build city districts here. So there's that. As you can see, we're everywhere in the plus, but food income is falling, and... We will have more people coming in needing food and we might need to address that. We'll see how that goes. I mean, we can address it just by producing food out of energy. We have that technology as synthetics. It might be the, the, the solution, the solution. A new tradition is coming. And what will we go for? Of course, we'll go for mind and body by embracing a combination of new meditation techniques. and healthier eating habits, a large segment of our population enjoys a greater life expectancy than ever before. Yeah, it's, it's all beans and... Uh, uh, beans and onions. That, that's what we've discovered. Beans and onions. And uh, we'll go for extra organic crude oil for the, for the synthetics. They are, it's absolutely, it's 100% organic. Just very, 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 very old. Couple of hundreds, millions of years. And we're hoping for harmonious directives soon. Well, 48 months. Not too soon, but one day. One day greatness awaits. And then, out of nowhere, the Erebert Continuum contacted us. It was an ancient custodian matrix 
telling us custodian protocol 7186 activated initiating data store transfer to rudimentary synthetic intelligence message follows error data core block corrupted data block corrupted error data block corrupted and yes of course of course we graciously accept that yeah what could be what could be better what could be more beautiful what could be nicer mm, yeah we want a shipyard and we want a trade hub here oh, what a what a crazy thing to to get what a really really crazy thing to get oh we'll see we'll see how that plays out the iribot say giving us help 25 percent is surely nothing to sneeze at for 10 years oh my goodness me that will that will rock that will go beyond beyond anything expected it's output it's not research speed i think or is it no it's output it's research output wow that will help us so much really it will be great The Aerobot Continuum, the now fellow machines, they want to help us. What do they see in us? A contrast to cold killers like the ENCO, the link between organics and machines, and it's the wonders we have access to now are beyond our previous understanding. Not often before have we had such a flood of new articles, research projects, innovations. And in a time like this, will it stay that way or fade one day? But it's time to look for our new first speaker. Now, everyone is immortal right now. That makes for an interesting development. The Council of Technological Pro Progress is leading with Limitar at the lead. We're just bringing us more minerals. Well, well, we would love Joel Gorn to keep Joel Gorn. But he's so far behind. What's going on there? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. so many are, are following Limitar. We don't know if this will, and also, this will never change again, right? It will be all the same every day, mind-numbingly for everyone except an optimizing, an optimizing force as we are. We already have the optimal candidates, and we will make them act optimally for optimum, for optimus, for optimization. That's what we'll do. Ah, oh, that will be so great. It will be so wonderful. Let's see who will be elected by the wonderful people. The wonderful robots. Robots. The wonderful robots. The wonderful biomorphs. Limathar. It's now Limathar. It was inevitable for so long. As per our first speaker's mandate, our planetary districts have expanded. Very nice. So we have become the next ruler, an expansionist. Outpost and starbase influence both cost. Mm. An industrialist. 10% monthly minerals and a synthetic and someone who is really keen on research. And that will reflect in what we build, of course. We will go and, and further technology more. Technology is what we what we love to expand right now so let's see uh, what we can do here technological progress technological process and yeah why not a mineral mirror purification plant that also seems to be our knack on interval we will research more it will be great it will be super good um oh, let's 
let's get that going too. We need that. We definitely need that. Maybe we don't need it that much on minima anymore. We'll see how that goes. Mining districts. Yeah, no, not really. It's all good regarding that. All is good. And yeah, we want a planetary administration then. That will be great. Ah. Our alloys. Our alloys are getting consumed, consumed, consumed by so many jobs, ships, buildings. Hmm. Jobs, you say. Yes, we need to be built from, from something, right? You know. Ah, there's... The new habitat world upgrade is also ready. Years of improvements to our orbital habitats have led us to create new and more effective designs. Uh, we're looking forward to that so much. Now, what will be next? Why do we have Joel gone here? Oh, yeah, of course. He, he made it back, our military theorist. And now we got to see what we can pick. Citadels. Missiles, marauder missiles, surely good, surely very good. But maybe we want a genius there, yeah, right, a genius, an old genius, maybe. Ah, look at Gumi, ever the eager one. Thal Falotha is already in. Steve McQueeno. With a sapient AI assistant. Yeah, why not? We'll let him go in for that. Oh, what's that in Hoshfair? You're not doing anything. How does that... Where does that come from? The not doing anything thing. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe you could uh, you could go to the habitat here. That would be fantastic. Queenus, 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 Queenus. Oh yeah, we are we are here apparently. Mm. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Where do we have? We have new. We have new people coming. Going to Terminal Egress. Let's just move here. We'll make it over there. And you... Yeah, you can go there as well, Gumi. We'll get you to some point. And there was also something else here. Yes, Cadmund the Restorer. Good old ship. Joel gone. You're on your good old ship. You might return. You never know as a leader but currently everything seems okay and fine fine how yeah we can have a look here let's see what the varal viv has Ferragon. yeah not not as good not as good as earth earth system is systematically better we have starbase capacity, new starbase capacity. That's laudable. Hmm. Edict duration. There's no more edict duration or what's going on there. Administrative capacity. Yeah, that, that's not too bad. We could have that, but really naval capacity seems to be even better. Naval capacity. Yeah, that's also something we want. So let's see. Superconductivity. Oh, yes. Um, now, let's see. What can we research? Is anyone anywhere doing anything else? No. Okay, we'll go energy credits again. I guess it's inevitable to get more and more and more going here. Oh, let's see. Cultural Defense Force. Mm. Not currently getting expanded, and that's okay. We'll see about that in the future. Currently, we're just expanding and expanding and expanding. 
which is also okay, right? We want the districts, we want the luxuries, we want everything, everything made fine for our scientists. Because we have a science-based leader, so to say, and that's that's a difference. Hmm, oh, but tell us. Let's see, we have we have two two habitats, three habitats there. It would be a shame if we wouldn't protect them. I think. And then we have Bokrima here. And we have Ratio here that will be an ecology. That also needs to be protected one day. Maybe not now. Or maybe now, who knows? Hmm, hard, 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 hard decision. Oh, but Telos has, has just more there, so we'll protect them first. I will look at the Ridigus Prime, our good tech world here. Hmm. What will we go for? No clerks. No clerks today, my love has gone away. Let's research a little more. And open up the door. We're definitely getting to where we want to be. Even though the alloys must wait, the, the final alloy push must wait until we have more ecologies. Ecologies will just make the push so much easier. And Earth, you ask? Yes, Earth would be probably one of the prime candidates for the next uh, success. And what's going on with the encode, really? It's, it has a lot of just tomb worlds everywhere. Tomb, 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 tomb worlds. Tombing around. End game. We've had it for so long and now finally its usefulness is magnificent. It's clear that it will become the robot capital of the culture. An exception. A robot will be amongst themselves, a synthetic paradise without the cute organics of the past, that it will of course still let live and thrive elsewhere. But this could become a nexus of innovation for a synthetic kind of metal culture unique to the galaxy. After such a long time, the space storm pin has dissipated, as quickly as it appeared. Ship systems will no longer be impaired in those systems where subspace disturbances had manifested. Also, shields will work once again. <laughs> Although some speculate that storms such as pin could lead to the eventual collapse of the hyperspace network thousands of years in the future, for now space travel seems to have returned to normal. Good, good, good. Let's get uh, also, maybe we'll need to get some gateways going someday, right? <laughs> that might be a good thing. Also, what about Bokrimam? Is that maybe a good idea to get a space station there or elsewhere, like in Obertellus? There is a pretty good... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it seems like I already did that. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So... Um, what do we want there? We want we want the transit hub here. Mm, that's so good. Also, probably a, a, a shipyard. I mean, one trade hub is good, and a, a shipyard for the start, and then upgrade again. So that will gonna be will will be good. It will be good. Will definitely be good. 
just get some some range going so we can bridge eventual gaps that might occur from time to time redundancy for the win hopefully look at that proportion research yeah <laughs> the ecology is coming and flak artillery predictive tracking algorithms and even more powerful rounds make these batteries incredibly lethal to enemy strike craft now um hmm. whirlwind missiles yeah that looks cool let's get these going good bonus on them it's all good ratio oh uh, yeah we're, we're gonna wait for until the arcology is finished before we do anything there colleges are coming in and um they will be massive i think they will be super good for us we'll see how that works out but what's the hot tip from from everyone of the of the council i would call them <laughs> Arcologies. And so we're, we're building three three of them, I think. Three now. So I hope that's going to work out well. Hey, Serge Cortez. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We also have very high skill now. Skill, uh, skill cap is maxed. So that's extremely good for us in the end. Limothar, uh, he's doing what he can. I mean, he will not die soon, but <laughs> he's one of the researchers, so that's that's kind of good. So that's why we are also switching to a lot of research. And of course, administration, administration, administration. The bureaucracy of Mars is <laughs> it's going forward. Why do we have a city district? just to get a little bit more growth going that's that's all that's really all Fantal has uh, gained some experience by just sitting around checking the ships from time to time making simulation duels all kinds of things like that it's all good though it's all good so the next the next big step will be definitely gateways and we need to connect Sezwetov and we need to connect where is it <laughs> oh my goodness me the conclave of Serland, Shadland and Strumland completes a colossus project word has reached us that the conclave of Serland, Shadland and Strumland has developed specifications for a colossus type hull configuration a weapon platform potentially capable of complete planetary destruction <gasps> Oh my, that sounds terrible, terrifying, terrorizing. Let's also buy some minerals and sell some consumer goods. Here we go. And something has happened at the fossilized remains on Mars. Continued excavations near the hunting lodge have provided more details. Mars and the valley of Makavail specifically served as a hunting reserve for the ruling warrior class of an interstellar polity known as the Retorax Domain. The Retorax, a predatory avian species, periodically collected random individuals from the many subjugated alien civilizations under their rule. These aliens were then hunted down and killed in the wilderness of Makvael. According to the rituals that governed Retorax society, this tradition lasted several centuries until the domain eventually succumbed to an undefined outside threat. <gasps> but what what is behind all of that? What is behind it? I could plant some apple trees on Mars though. <laughs> we could do that. Hmm. Also want to get uh oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. we have our first Acumenopolis. Look at this beauty. Barnard's Ocean consumer encased. Layers upon layers of urban sprawl eclipse the globe's crust 
and it is done. Scant few years have passed since the start of this grand project, but it's already difficult to recall what the surface of Barnard's ocean consumer was like, verdant, rugged. It is all steel now, miles in every direction. Swimming metal cities, a place once molded by chance and the unthinking laws of nature, now a design wrought from an indomitable purpose. Indeed. What a day. What a day to get swarmed with consumer goods, apparently. Oh, the first ones were consumer goods. Okay, okay. I mean, there's still a lot of room here and a lot of workplaces. And we'll see. We'll see who joins us there. Oh, my goodness me. Also more roboticists, entertainers, all kinds of things like that. It's going to be interesting. There's still the crystal mine. And that, I mean, the feature doesn't exist anymore, but the crystal mine still exists. I wonder what will happen to it, really. Or if it produces anything. <laughs> and I think it does. No, it has disappeared now. Ah, Well, that was bad. Still. It's affordable. It's affordable for that price, right? The big ecumenopole is. Whirlwind missiles, new miniaturization techniques will allow us to equip swarmer missiles with more powerful warheads and improved flight performance. Very welcome. And now, um, how about the gorse? No. How about battleships then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something we can do here? Um, we have mastery of nature. Let's distribute some luxury goods because we have tons of luxury goods available from now on. So how about we distribute them everywhere? Just about everywhere. Why not, right? I mean, we have a couple of migration treaties. Come here, come to the luxuries. The luxuries of the culture. We need you everywhere, aliens. And if you want, you can be upgraded to a to a metal phenomenon, because uh, press the pedal to the metal, right? That's what you always wanted. Precious, precious metal. Luxury goods. Everyone gets a free Barbie. Every kid gets a free, I don't know, a free, a free, uh, a free gaming computer with a, with an actual graphics card. That would be something, right? An actual graphics card. That's luxury today. And that will be luxury then. Even though I think crypto mining has largely ceased. as an aberration. <laughs> hmm, because as a unified society, you don't need that anymore. But here, hmm, mastery of nature. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we could try that. It's it's kind of fun, right? On the resort world, we also want mastery of nature. We can have mastery of nature on other planets as well. But on the resort world, it, it just makes a, a certain role-playing role -playing, uh, sense. Here we go. Barnard's Ocean, the consumer world. Luxury is for everyone, my friends. Absolute luxury. And this also means we don't need these things on Earth anymore. Let's see if we still have some things there. Yeah, I mean, we have the alloy production. We will leave them eventually, I think. Oh, yeah, we also want some new commerce megaplexes here. And new naval capacity, improved fleet management will fire up the resources uh, for a larger fleet. And now we'll go... Is there anything... Starbase capacity seems to be very well researched. 
then we'll also take star base capacity because it's just pretty useful. And we want the discount, we want the discount, discount, discount price. And look at that, our naval capacity has risen, meaning we can we can do something here. Yeah, I want the cultural defense force to be bigger, better, faster. Why are these four so weak? These six are far better. I mean, what kind of class is that? Covet 2.0 blue. We want to refit them. Yeah, and then... 21 with 1.5k. So these need to be into the 2.0 class, right? So there's that. And then let's just refit them, my goodness me. Seems to be like we've we've had a lot of very old designs still around with us that are really terrible terribly bad we'll see how much that improves when we have upgraded them all the cruiser cruising yeah 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 oh oh oh, oh look at that we need rare crystals from somewhere yeah yeah our source has kind of run out now, if we develop linear into an archaeology, that's that's fine actually. We might make an uh, we might make we might make an a habitat with with actual with the actual uh, exotic exotic resources, strategic resources. I think that might be a great idea. Everything finished now? Ah, oh, not yet. But look, it's already getting strength. A lot of strength. A lot of strength. I want to see that finished. It's absolutely fascinating how much strength that can get. Hmm. Some association. What is the encode doing though? I mean, I think it should fall somewhere. It is just overexpanded. It's it's pathetic tech I don't know but maybe it has it has enough to confront oh look at that Ooh, new designs look at that we've got a particle lens and we've got the freaking archimeter oh yes let's get this the archimeter powerful weapons that launch a lightning arc of chaotic energy at a target bypassing shields and armor and battleships, yeah, they unlocked that. The largest of the standard military vessels, battleships are traditionally heavily armored and support several gun batteries. Very, very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can already go for the mega cannon. Mega. Alpha and Omega. Mega, mega, mega. Let's see if these will get better. Yeah, they're already, already at 24k, 24.5 wow <laughs> that much tech makes a really 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 big difference oh my the wars could have been easier right the wars could have been easier and finally that is done then hmm. these old designs are not that strong anymore apparently yeah the new designs are just better allies flying around oh, we have so many consumer goods it's uncanny it's uncanny mm. got to figure out something to do with them right <laughs> ban sentient slave trade nice culture defense force is fully upgraded yeah it's it's a full i think 6k stronger or something so let's let's get this going a little bit better so now now we have something to work with now we can see let's get these to maybe 23 these to 23 24 5 26 
27. Yeah, let's make this go. Let's make this. Whoop. Here we go. Just a bunch of very weird, um, very weird covets. And now we'll, let's buy some alloys. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and we have enough unity. Oh yes, I mean, harmonious directives, the enlightened decrees of our benevolent leadership will spread peace, freedom, justice, and security throughout the entire star nation and beyond. Harmonious directives. Now let's have a look. What kind of edict we will we will adapt? Hmm, map the stars. Yeah, that is that is done. Unfortunately, tracking implants. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not going to be something we do. I mean, we could go for the Bureau of Espionage. That would certainly be good. Fleet supremacy, ship build speed, diplomatic weight from fleet power. That's something. Diplomatic grants increases our diplomatic weight and available envoys. It's certainly very useful. Is it powerful enough? Encourage political thought. Hmm, nah. Forge subsidies. Hmm, nah. Capacity subsidies, wow. <laughs> the Bureau of Espionage or the Diplomatic Grants are most, the most important ones, I think. Fleet Supremacy also has something, definitely. But it's not going to help us as much. Nutritional Plentitude, hmm. No, because of the Empire Sprawl, it's just not that great anymore. Same goes for Fortify the Border. No, I think we're going to go Diplomatic Grants. We're friendly for now. This edict initiates a diplomatic offensive in a concerted effort to improve the image of our Empire in the eyes of others. Here we go. Um, yeah, and I think... Have we just gotten an, an extra edict? So, didn't we? I think we have, right? There's an edict capacity. And there is a... Yeah, here we go. Just needed a bit to up update. So it's all good. Can Larkalans have completed something? And we can... We can send more over. So let's see where we send one. That's all good. So maximum. And we're getting all the experience. We can Larklands. Need someone to improve relations. Let's see. We're Egarians. And yeah, why not the Ken Larklands? Here we go. <laughs> Hello, old human. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. That's going to be quickly too much. What's going on, Ridigus Prime? Research going. Hezekar made made peace with Kunden, and woo, they lost some. Uh, yeah, they they definitely lost. The Hezekar hive is shrinking. Kunden manufacturing. Ah, Hezekar hive association status. I want to give the Hezekar hive association status. I mean, I don't want to attack them, so it's fine. Yeah, if you want that peace to the galaxy, that has always been our thing. Peace, peace, peace. Because everyone needs to develop pretty fast. Otherwise, it might lead to an unfortunate end of every one of us. So the Vazarin station. Let's see if we have already connected. It's it's over, it's over here. And through some strange channel, we have somehow connected our trades. Let's see. Mm, want that, the trading company. We want another trade hub. And maybe, 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 maybe a hangar bay. Arc emitters, powerful weapons that launch a lightning arc of chaotic energy at targets, which in part can ignore armor and shields. Oh, yes, please. And... Uh, the particle lance, great stuff. The weaponry. The weaponry is coming. 
Oh yeah, we can now, I think we can also build a constructor, so we can finally activate that thing. All good. I think we're going to be a little bit over the naval capacity, but that's fine for now. It's absolutely fine. We also want rare crystals. We might need to get a to get something going for that. Mega cannon, enormous mass accelerator cannon that can only be placed at a spinal mount and fires monstrously powerful rounds over vast distances. Very nice. Uh, the Gauss cannon, not really. The battleship hull points, not really. Oh, well, let's go for the cheaper, the Gorse Cannon. Gorse Cannon for the win. Hmm. Yeah, we might build another habitat. Let's see. Is there a planner that would say, give me a habitat in Terminal Egress? There definitely is. I mean, that, no, that one, not so much. There's another Shattered World. There's, this is a rock. Have that habitat here, yes. Mm. Yes, yes, egress. You help, you help the habitat. And do, 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 in lesson. Could get something going in lesson, definitely. That would be one, that would be, that would be a good one, right? Above the shattered world. Mm. But I think we need something like on an on an mm. that's on an inconspicuous just on that nanite world, yes. So they can watch the nanite world. So why is this? Because we need something to, uh, we need a refinery for special resources. And that's what we are building there. A refinery habitat, basically. That's what we try to reach there. And hope that it will be pretty great. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. Very, very soon. Ratio will also be great. Just great. So here we go. Administration for the nation. Ooh. Might sell some stuff. Here we go. Yeah, that we're a little bit more in the in the black, so to say, or in the white rather, not the red. Come on, soon, soon. Ratio is encased. Layers upon layers of urban sprawl eclipse the globe's crust. And it's done again. Scant few years have passed since the start of this grand project, but it's already difficult to recall what the surface of ratio was like. Verdant, rugged, it's all steel now, miles in every direction, a place once molded by chance, the unthinking laws of nature. Now a design wrought from indomitable purpose. And now we get a noise. <laughs> now let's get the system capital complex going. And let's see what we can have here. Ooh, that's gonna be, that is gonna be something. Here you go, luxury goods. Let's get a good start going, right? Ooh, <laughs> that's gonna be adventurous. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to see what, what will happen after the month's end here with our alloys. I hope they will go up a bit. We'll see, we'll, oop, yeah. We just doubled the alloys. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That means so, so much. It means the world.
And Cuminopoly, now that we've got enough resources, even these resources are multiplied by the well-organized Ecumenopoli that we've integrated into society. Everyone wants to go there. It's a craze. It's a fashion. The fashion of speed. All the speedy people go there. That's great. It's a society of speed and efficiency, and that makes the rural planets or the habitats places where a certain quiet is predominant, but an efficient and strong quiet, and not too much of the magnificent fuzz of the Ecumenopoli. Something has happened that the fossilized remains. Oh, look at that! Who, who made that step? Archaeologists excavating the hunting lodge have stumbled upon several references to a legendary Retorex warrior known as the Huntress. She was apparently their most efficient killer, renowned through the domain, throughout the domain for having personally butchered thousands of aliens at Muckwell. It's unclear whether this is based on fact or fiction, but according to Retorex legend, the Huntress was killed somewhere inside the valley when she was outwitted by the alien prey she was pursuing. She was supposedly wielding the fabled blade of the Huntress at the time. Oh, that's curious. We need to find that blade. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, to uh, assure that no one gets this in their hands and makes a bloodbath with it, right? <laughs> to preserve it to uh, from... Uh, from greedy hands that would wage war with it. Pirates, pirates again, this time in the Afes Khan system. They must be dealt with, huh? Have we had some people patrol? Oh, gods. Mm. These ships are not enough. They're not enough. Attack the pirates, destroy the, the pirates are too strong. And our patrolling is also too weak. Ah, they are destroying the star base. No, that will make our trade system totally collapse because it's in the bottleneck. It's through the bottleneck. Ah, no. Hurry up quickly. <laughs> Ah, from now on we must let, I, I don't know, a cruiser ship stuff to, blah, 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 patrol there. <sighs> they're coming in and they're this, they've already destroyed us here. Mom. But now we're coming in. The time is now. Eliminate them. Well, that was quick. Not that quick, though. They're kind of holding their ground now, and not now, now everything is gone. The pirate station is raided, and uh, we have won without any loss. Cognat has lost. It's a shame that we can just not like capture these guys. That would be good, but oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Now you can build the mining stations here. Hmm. Hmm. Now indeed, Galathor's Armada needs something, right? Um, first, they need an upgrade. An upgrade they need. And then, and then I don't know. Well, is where is in Starbase build something here? Mm. Might just get some more platforms going. That should be very fine. Thankfully, the trade uh, wasn't wasn't so bad. All the time, ah! Give me some sales pitch. And now, oh, a Tachyon Lance is my powerful version of the of the Particle Lance. Great stuff. And what next? Um, is there anything that our friends have already researched? Oh, well, shield hit points. Yeah, here we go. We can emulate that and the battleship hull points. Advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable battleships. 
Oh, an advanced battleship hulls. No one has them yet. We will get them first. It's great. It's good. It's super fantastic. Ah, looking forward to that. It's very nice. It's really, really very nice. And here we go. We can activate one of our relics again. The Rubricator is what is too tempting not to use. Here we go. 98 minor artifacts. Now let's let's reverse engineer arcane technology. Yay, research speed plus 10%. And we'll go for an ancient fad again. That will make everyone 5% happier. How do you feel 5% happier? I know I, f I feel like that little bit of... A little spring in my step. <laughs> That's the 5%. That's the 5%. Pirates. First they wanted gold, now they want minerals, credits, and always whatever. Control me? Are they financed by foreign powers? Well, we don't really know what they want, but they are tired of, we're tired of them. Despite our patrols, they come back again and again. The only way is a bigger home fleet. A home fleet, these bastards. If they needed money, they should apply for it. There's more than enough for everyone. Scarcity is over. Time to acquire the greater good. Our entire population takes comfort in the knowledge that they are working together for the greater good. Each one a small but important part of a vastly larger whole. The greater good. Governing ethics attraction increased by 25%. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, let's go together towards the greater good. The greater, greater good. And there's something else now. The Blade of the Huntress. After painstakingly combing through the valley of Machabile for any trace of the legendary Huntress, archaeologists were finally able to pinpoint her last resting place. Her fossilized skeleton was found locked in battle. The remains of a large horned arthropod, with her claws still clasping the hilt of a perfectly preserved sword. This must be the blade of the Huntress. The weapon is composed of an unknown material and is sharp enough to cut straight through our strongest armor. Curious. Do we have the, do we have the blade of the Huntress now? Is it here? Yes, it is here. Look at that. Passive effect army morale plus 25%. Planet sensor range plus 2. Ooh alerts us and if we activate it we have 25 percent more sunlight speed an ancient and well-preserved weapon forged out of an un unknown material it vibrates slightly with a barely contained psionic power hmm. the relics of the past will they change us will they make us a race of spiritual robots also show me the show me the place because we have Jesler, and Jesler wants to help Mars with this. What is that? <laughs> that crumpled thing here. <sighs> we'll help while we assist research, researching weird, weird navigation patterns. This is optimal in the time-space continuum. Not a straight line. A straight lines are over. Gravitation has killed them. No one can draw a straight line. A straight line is an illusion. Straight is an illusion. Here we go. Citadel. Oh, nice. The immense battle stations capable of holding its own against several strike fleets are now being drawn up. Realize these citadels will become monuments to greatness as much as system hubs. Oh, 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 so good. Oh, mm, mm, mega engineering. Mega engineering. Ah. 
We want mega engineering. And mega structure resource storage capacity plus 20,000. What? Steve McQueen, go for that at once. Yes, we need all of that. We need it now. Research everything. The Blade of the Huntress is a magnificent artifact that with its mystical energy of unknown origin will help our ships fly faster. When it is used, it will help to see the enemy come from beyond the whale. It will fuel the energy of our army even more. We wield the Blade of the Oppressors to bring them down in the whole galaxy for freedom, for the culture. 